Welcome back to another Unturned video. Today we're going to go back on Rustern server we played on some time ago and continue with more PvP and even some live base raids. If you guys haven't seen the previous episode, I recommend to go watch it, but quick recap, we basically built a base, got stacked, got door camped by a VIP, moved base and even got more stacked. This video was recorded a couple of days later, so the base I moved on to was raided. So today it will be a fresh start. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 400 likes. A huge percentage of you guys watching this video right now are not yet subscribed, so I would appreciate it if you hit that button. Last video I announced a mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim your prize, make sure to join my Discord over discord.gg slash liamdasgame and contact me there. Today we're going to roll another one and it's a Soul Shattered Music Eagle Fire. To enter, make sure you've liked, subscribed and comment anything below. Channel members also have a higher chance to win and I want to give them all a huge shout out for their continuous support. Also, if anyone wants to become a member, make sure to click the link in the description below. But before this video starts, I want to give a shout out to EU Modded for sponsoring this video. EU Modded is the Rustern server we're going to play on today and recently it changed owners, which happens to be the Phoenix portal owner and other server chain that we usually we go on and record our escape from on turn of content if you guys do want to play on this rust server ip port and discord link will all be in the description below and let's get straight into the video okay so we are rejoining the server now i'm pretty sure my base got raided yeah it sure did i have absolutely nothing i am actually on a separate character now i'm pretty sure that i did vote some items in my vote and i am going to team i was actually teaming with a guy Alright, well I am kind of far than where my base was. My base was literally in Dome before. Alright, so if you join their server and you link the, the account, you get two free kits, which is an MP5 and a Bolt. Which aren't really the best PvP guns, but it'll, it's better than nothing. Now this server is mostly oriented around PvP and base trading more than base building and survival, obviously there is. But the server is a bit high times loot, so everybody is going to be running around with stacked guns. Everybody on the server has a ring. Now I did spawn here, I actually never ever was here. Alright, so for now I'm going to be a duo with a friend of mine. He was literally with me in the last video as well. Alright, well this is military tunnels i assume if we keep going down there's going to be a crates but it gets dark and i don't have a tactical light so right now it's kind of useless to go there now i actually don't know if it is a good area to get loot but probably very very soon i am going to build a base i have 200 frags in my vault so all i need to get is a bunch of wood and make myself a building plan and a hammer and we will get ourselves a starter base all right so i'm harvesting as much trees as possible we need literally 20 just in order to make the building plan and the hammer i'm gonna build it close to here i'm gonna assume that this area is a bit more quiet we are very close to launch site which is probably the most pvp area but i'm gonna try to completely avoid it i don't really want to get lasered by m249s from everywhere all right something cool about the server is that every time you hit the tree you actually get logs and it automatically stacks them in your inventory all right i could build it somewhere around here actually i think this is a good area all right, my teammate is here as well. He has actually does have quite a ton of loot. All right, well, we got quite a ton of logs, actually. We got ourselves a building plan. All right, my teammate gave me a bigger backpack. Thank you very much. Now, obviously, as soon as we finish the base, I am going to go run around, get PvP. All right, so building plan. I'm going to probably make a 2x2 two two for now. Well, my teammate just killed somebody. I have no idea how to still exit this. Right, let's check out what loot he had. He actually got lasered. My teammate literally saved me. Alright, he had a SAR, uh, 664 ammo, that's pretty good, better pickaxe and a better axe, I will actually take those, bucket helmet, a revolver, my coffee helmet is better, uh, my teammate just gave me 100 logs, let's go. Alright, building plan, let's make ourselves the pillars, and we also got ourselves a helicopter, I think this, uh, this just spawned, or the guy that tried to kill me got over here with it, but I have no idea, we got a helicopter now, so let's go. Alright, now we gotta make ourselves some walls, I actually really like this building thing, it makes building way quicker. Alright, we'll place a doorway there as well, and we gotta make ourselves a tool cupboard, or else the base will literally just start despawning all right four roofs have been placed as well all right so my guy gave me some metal as well even though i do have quite a ton but i'm gonna do a door with that all right so now we gotta upgrade it because basically if somebody starts shooting at our base it will literally all be gone so we gotta get ourselves the hammer and start upgrading it to metal now i gotta get the metal from my inventory let's nice, make them a stacks of 50 and let's start upgrading all right, two walls down, another one down, another one finished. Hopefully, I actually have enough for the whole base. All right, so all the walls are done. Now, let's move on to the floors. All right, so the first stack is over. All right, so my teammate is placing a bunch of crates as well. I assume he had it from his old base. He literally just moved the base. He had the base very close to Dome, but I think he just moved. He just wants to live with me. I, I really don't know. All right, so I made myself a tool cupboard as well, so base will stop decaying. All right, base is already pretty much done. We've been on the server not for long, and the floors are done as well. Now we gotta do all of the roofs, obviously. Base is done. I'm gonna put all of the important items that we have. I'm gonna keep them here, so that way if I die, I won't actually lose them. And now we will actually go and start loot. 
looting. Now, some of you guys told me that scrap on the server is actually useless. We don't actually need them in order to make blueprints. I think that's a separate server, so that's my bad. So scrap is literally useless. I actually gotta make myself a bed. Okay, so my teammate took the helicopter. He's going to the snow biome and he's going to farm sulfur and metal. We are actually going to try to raid today. I'm going to go around around monuments. We'll probably run into PvP and try to farm elite crates. Maybe we'll get ourselves some easy guns. Now, I have never actually played on this map before. I've never... I have, but I haven't been to this part of the map. So, it's going to be all new territory for me. I don't know where it's good for loot. I don't know where it's bad. And at the same time, we'll try to see if there are any live bases. Because today, I actually do feel like doing a live raid. Now, in terms of raiding gear, we have absolutely zero. We don't even have an empty rocket launcher to begin with. So we'll probably try to craft ourselves as much C4 as possible. There's an elite crate right over here. And we got ourselves a locker, some crude oil, nothing that important though. If only we got ourselves an AK on an LR, I would actually be really happy. So I'm over at the snow biome. I'm helping him farm metal and sulfur. We need as much as possible for that. Apparently, this area is the best for these kind of nodes. Now, as soon as my inventory is full, I will home depot and TP back. Oh wait, there's a guy there. Ah, oh, he seems geared actually as well. You know, I, I think he saw me. My guy's 1 HP. I headshot him three times with an MP5. Okay, well, splendid. I have no idea how he didn't die. He's literally 1 HP, man. Oh wait, they're both dead. Let's go. I'm probably gonna vote this LR actually. No, no, there's more people. Alright, well, there's still- there's another duo. I killed one. Alright, let me accept TPAs. Oh, no, I'm dead. Alright, well, my guy lagged 50 different places. Alright, well, we just lost everything. Feels bad. Hey, at least the only gun I lost was an MP5, which is a kit. Alright, well, we did kill the first duo, and then there was another duo. It's a separate duo. Man, I kind of feel bad. I actually should have voted that LR. We could have gotten an easy LR. Right, I'm gonna take an AK out with me. I'm not gonna run around with SMGs anymore. AK much better. I'm gonna take some ammo. Let's refill this bad boy. It's okay though. We didn't really lose anything that good. My teammate also made a border of high external walls around the base. So that's pretty good. Another layer of protection. So my teammate called two airdrops. Hopefully some good loot. Now he did call them inside the base. I don't know if they're gonna spawn out here. Oh no, they didn't. Okay. All right, let's check out. This one has rocket L96 LR big backpack. That's actually pretty good. Now the other one spawned up there. I don't know how the hell we're gonna get to that one. But another MP5, a 16 time scope. I didn't even know those spawn on this map. All right, I'm actually happy with that one. There's a guy singing outside. Uh, he's dead. My guy was just singing next to our base. Uh, okay. Oh, he had the- Alright, my guy had the rocket launcher with a rocket. Two AKs, armored door. Sorry. What the hell is this man doing? Alright, well, I have no idea why he was running around with a rocket. He wasn't gonna raid us. He could have probably not even broken the external wall outside. Let's replace the door as well. We still haven't gotten to that second airdrop, actually. My guy is building ladders to get on top of it. Alright, well, my teammate got the airdrop. Uh, and this is what he got. He got two AKs, LR, two MP5, a bunch of PvP guns, I assume. LR and AKs are good, MP5 is not that much. After there, that PvP I had with the MP5, I am actually starting to hate that gun. So, we are going to run around the map. We need to farm metal, we need to farm sulfur, and we need to farm crude oil. Now, the best area to get crude oil is probably at Dome. There's a bunch of red barrels at the bottom, so that's where we're going to head to next. As soon as I get a ton, we will home, smell them, and we will probably start crafting raiding gear. Alright, boys, back in base, got myself a ton of crude oil and a ton of sulfur as well. Got a stack of 50 sulfur. We got 40 crude oil, which is actually really, really good, to be honest. I got myself an airdrop, L96 rocket, two spaces, AK, and, uh, and 5.56 ammo. Not too bad. Alright, this is the first base that we're going to raid. The door is made out of wood, so it's not gonna take us that much, and the rest of the base is pretty much made out of stone, so it's not gonna take us that much. Right, my teammate is raiding the door. Now, if you point at something, it should tell you how much HP it is at, yeah, like the door. So that's actually kind kind of OP to be honest. Now this base is very very close to our base so if somebody tries to counter raid us then we're gonna be right next to them instantly. Alright and we are through doors open perfect. There are a bunch of crates looks like. You know what there's some loot. I noticed an LR. Yeah LR MP5, LR magazines, uh, 30 wood, 30 cloth, 20 metal, 10 stone, 30 scrap. We don't really need those. I actually take all of these items and this one had 20 wood and 10 stone. Um, we're gonna break the TC. Also, very close to our base, I did notice chop trees. So I am going to assume that there is a base being built right now, which we should go and raid. But first, I need to depot. Alright, so this is the base that I want to raid. Alright, door's open. My guy's out. Ah, he's dead. It's made out of wood, so it's not gonna be that hard to raid. My guy has an AK, okay, and a salvaged axe. I'll take that. Alright, insane base raid. I hear some shots very close as well. Alright, my teammate's actually gonna use a C4. 
All right, we are in, and looks like he doesn't even have a bed. Oh, that was a huge waste. Destroyed the PC. Not really profit, I'm afraid. All right, we found another base we're going to raid. My guy's using the L96, which is actually quite strong for a sniper rifle. And we are through. Looks like a bunch of small crates, wood, and oil. This one has nothing. A satchel charge. Let's go. That's actually pretty good. Wood and a bunch of guns. So from a full magazine of L96, we got this. I'm gonna say that, that that's kind of good, actually. All right, Elia claimed, yeah, we still gotta break the TT. I forgot about that. I'll take all of this wood. That's actually pretty good. We got a satchel charge as well, so I am not too disappointed with that. All right, so I'm gonna use the L96 to actually break this locker. Each bullet gives 50 damage and it has 500 damage, so a full magazine will break it. All right, last bullet. Yes, sir, broke. And looks like a lot of logs, a bolty, tech trash, I'll actually take those, but nothing really that good, unfortunately. I'll take the wood, though, and some of these guns as backup guns. All right, we are back in base. We are depoting as well. Now, we still have quite a ton of raiding gear. We still haven't used any of the rocket launchers. And we still have 100 gunpowder, which I will probably make it into C4 very, very soon. All right, he is eliminated. Let's go check out if he has any good loot. He has some stuff. Uh, MP5. Okay, well, he just had the MP5 kit. And this locker had uh, well, a bunch of scrap. It's completely useless on this map. All right, my teammate is shooting at someone. Who's he shooting at? I actually don't see anyone. Oh, he's right there. I hit him three times. My guy's running away, obviously. He probably will be camping around the corner, so I gotta try to go around. Yeah, my teammate's going from the other side as well. Wait, well, where is he? Alright, looks like we found ourselves a live base, ladies and gentlemen. Exactly what I have been looking for this whole time. So now I'm going to put all of my rockets inside. Alright. And... Oh, I killed him. Nice. Alright, first rocket. And we are through. Oh, that was the quickest live raid I've ever done, probably. My guy had an AK. He's destroying the TC. Let's check out loot. He had a bolty, a bunch of logs. L96. Let's go. That's pretty good. A bunch of metal. P5. A bunch of components. I'll take everything that we need, though. 10 high quality metal, more fragments. All right. Well, insane live base raid completed. Anything over there? Some stuff is glitching on the wall, but it's nothing that good. All right. We got ourselves a bunch of charcoal as well. Let's go. Alright everybody, that's going to be it for this video, I really hope you enjoyed. If you guys do want to see more Australian content in the future, let me know by dropping a like, subscribing and commenting below. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!